I'm just showing how this, uh, just giving a demonstration on how this Lowrance Hook Reveal 7X Triple Shot. Just wanting to show how it works. And we're just running down the river right now. As you can see, we're doing about 14 and a half miles an hour. Um, and I'm just watching everything go underneath the boat on the upper left here I've got the uh, GPS upper right I've got the uh, down scan or structure scan and uh, as you can see uh, there's no obvious fish signatures in it right now and then on the bottom I've got the side scan and uh, I did a lot of research on YouTube by people talking about this unit before I bought this and uh, not hardly anybody actually shows it working so here you can see there's some uneven probably muddy rocky places on the bottom some places you'll see where the bottom is smooth and more bright yellow that's where there's a more smooth rocky bottom um, here on this down scan because we're moving fast that's why it looks peaked like that um, if we're moving slower after a bit I'll show you a one with where we're moving slower actually right now I'll just slow the boat down and we'll look at it in that way you can see fish on it but this is the first time see there is some bottom structure of some kind it looks like rocks and mud mixed together and uh, but like what I was starting to say you can see fish on it I have seen a couple of fish that were clearly fish suspended in the water column both appearing on the side scan and on the down scan with fish reveal here but uh, I'm not seeing any right now that's that's really obvious. Slow this down to about four or five miles an hour. Now we see the bottom is more smooth, uniform. It's got a more bright yellow color, which they say is a more rocky bottom because you're getting a more hard return where you get these brown darker colored areas that's more mud mixed with probably larger pebbles or rocks I'm thinking but uh, I, I this is the first time I'm using this unit and I will say I am pleasantly surprised how well it works I've done no adjusting on it um, I just left it all set on auto just put it in the water and and started moving and and that's what it gave me I did drive past some submerged logs that I knew was there and you could clearly see them like right here you've got something there showing in the mud and what I think that is is probably uh, here's something in the mud that's probably an old stump that's nearly rotted down and if it's covered with mud you won't get a clear signature. That's what I imagine it is. Obviously, I'm pretty new at this, so I don't know if I know. Slow this down just a little more. Oh, I heard it beep. That's usually where it thinks it saw a fish. See if something shows. There's something right here. I don't know if that's a fish or a, a big rock on the bottom. There's something on the bottom right there. Here's something showing up. I know you can see fish in this on the bottom, but I don't know if I've learned, uh, that is on the side scan. I don't know if I've learned how to recognize them. Right here is something that I imagine could be a fish, a little light colored place. But I'm still learning that myself. Here you can see a bunch of bottom structure coming across the screen. Let me make sure you can see that.
now it's marking some underwater structure there see that that's a submerged log and there's a fish signature right at the tip of that and down to the side of it and at the bottom of the river uh, uh, beside it either side of it and there you can see the submerged log on the side scan there you can see there's a more uneven it looks like rocks with mud settled mud and silt all over it right through here and here these little, little yellow and purple things that are right on the bottom but not quite on the bottom those oh sorry I'm there yellow and purple that is fish signatures so according to what Lawrence says that should be fish laying on the bottom I don't know if they're probably they're not all you can see there's a lot of uneven unevenness and structure on the bottom here here there's some kind of a little stump or log there There it's marking fish again. A few of those places there are probably clearly fish. But we're right now, we're moving 4.9 miles an hour. And I think we're getting about the best clarity on the side scan this way. Um, so that's probably a good speed to move. Again, I'm, first time I've used it, I may get something that works better yet, but thus far that appears to be the best. Now over here we're getting back on some smooth rocky bottom structure coming in at an angle there. Over here we still got this rocks, I don't know, but it looks like rocks and mud, like a large rock chunks with mud silt settled in between them is what that would look like to me from from what I know about how the bottom of this river looks that's what that should be here's a hump of some kind another hump of some kind now you can see to the left of the boat we have a smooth rocky bottom a few little rocks here can see the shadow of the rocks behind the rocks over here we still got this more this rough bottom structure But yeah, that's straight out of the box. No adjustments. Everything's still set on auto. Um, I just configured this page where I've got GPS here where I can mark something if I want to. I can uh, watch the down scan here with the fish reveal in it. And I can watch side scan to observe bottom structure and also see when I'm a wider view and just left everything set on auto settings and just took off and that's what we're seeing so as I say I'm pretty pleasantly surprised at how well Mommy, it has I been working there's some kind of a log laying on the bottom right there hope you can see that well Again, still rough bottom structure over here, smooth bottom structure over here. And it's about time to be catching sauger in this river. But I do not know anything. It's the first time I've fished for sauger. I don't know if they like the smooth bottom structure like this or if they like this rougher. I guess we may have to put a lure down and do some prospecting here. Well, 
that shows you a little bit about how this works. Um, here again, you've got several signatures that is what they call the fish reveal that the, the uh, trans, the uh, sonar unit is thinking those are fish. And it could be, because I know a lot of sauger will lay on the bottom. Here's a some kind of a structure here. I know a lot of these sauger will lay on the bottom and people come and troll for them and let those deep running plugs run down there along the bottom and they pull a lot of sauger out of this river. Here's a big old stump of some kind. Look at that. You can see it clear as day. You can see the shadow of it behind it. And here's more coming. Some smaller stuff over here. Over here again we've got the big old stumps and you can see something showing up here. Same thing showing up on the down scan. All right, that's it. I'm just going to show you what this thing works like. I'm pretty tickled with it. Of course, it's my first experience with sonar. It's better than anything I've had before by far. See ya.